You'd think it would be all hands on deck during the pandemic, the state of New York using every resource at its disposal. Why then have critical pieces of equipment sat unused for a year now? We investigate because you paid for it. Despite a post-holiday COVID surge earlier this year and numbers going up, these Vaccinate New York trailers were going nowhere. We're continuing to uh, activate and deploy all the resources we identified and have been identifying for months now as part of our winter surge 2.0. This fleet of trailers not activated and deployed, instead tucked away in an obscure parking lot in the Northeastern Industrial Park in Gildeland Center. They stand there like players on the sidelines, but the coach won't put them back in the game. It's sadly a reminder of sometimes the incompetency of bureaucracies and of government. We showed photos of the trailers to the minority leader of the New York State Senate, Rob Ort. I'm seeing this for the first time, um, and I think our conference, when made aware of this, we're going to, I would like to think we're going to reach out to the governor directly to find out what's going on here and what is the plan, what went wrong. They belong to you, the taxpayer, and the New York State Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services. An agency spokesperson says they were used for mass vaccination sites and pop-up vaccination sites in 2021. When we asked for usage records, we were told they were only used from January through March of that year, three months. From what we can tell, they have sat idle for 12 months since then, boxed in by big box trucks. Well, here's what I want to show you. Yeah. Those are trailers. See, there's a good shot of one. See how it says Vaccinate New York? One of the people on the front lines of vaccination efforts in Schenectady County has been the chair of the county legislature's health committee, Michelle Osterlich. I shared the trailer photos with her. We've been very fortunate to get the vaccines that we've needed. Um, and get them out to our community. So I don't know if those trailers would have helped us, but um, I think it's an interesting question to find out why they've been sitting there for sure and see if they could have been put to use. If we're not gonna need them now for the vaccination, what are we gonna use them for? Let's not have them sit there and, you know, I know you and I own vehicles when they sit there, tires get flat, things go wrong, and then what happens? And they get junked or whatever. That's a poor use of, of tax dollars. Emergency Services says these trailers were purchased before the pandemic and could be used again to deal with COVID or some sort of natural disaster. But for now, they sit and wait. I look forward to your story to see, um, to see what you find out about the trailers. And the trailers, which the state has owned for years, are still sitting there tonight as we speak. We have contacted the administration several times about this. Here's the latest statement from the Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services on the trailers. It reads in part, they were put to good use in supporting numerous missions aimed at providing equitable vaccine access as their size allowed them to travel along narrow city streets. The use of these trailers saved taxpayer dollars by avoiding the need for the state to contract for these missions. These assets continue to be maintained in Gildeland are in good working order and stand ready to deploy for any COVID and non-COVID missions moving forward. We will, of course, let you know if and when they are used again. Earlier this year, I brought you the story of Vaccinate New York trailers that sat wasting away in a secluded state parking lot during the height of the pandemic. Now, after that story, I was tipped off to another testament to government pandemic waste, a supersized stash of state-made hand sanitizer, hundreds of thousands of gallons, more than $4 million worth, much of it expired or about to expire, and you paid for it. It was unveiled with great fanfare. Open the curtain, please. March of 2020, then Governor Andrew Cuomo introducing New York State Clean hand sanitizer made by New York State prison inmates. It came at a time when hand gel was hard to find in stores, and when you could find it, the price was spiking. This is a superior product. But you can get too much of a good thing. Fast forward to today and New York can't seem to wash its hands of the sanitizer. You are looking at pallets and pallets full of it. A secret stash covered in blue tarps sitting unused and untouched on a remote runway at a former airport that is now the New York State Preparedness Training Center in Oriskany, about an hour and a half west of Albany. What's underneath those tarps? I'm going to tell you. New York State Clean Hand Sanitizer. No way. Members of both parties. Did they overproduce some things? Yeah. How did that happen? I don't know. Couldn't believe it when we showed them the photos of the surplus sanitizer. Thousands and thousands and thousands of gallons of New York State Clean Hand Sanitizer. My reaction is pretty much like anybody else's. That's, that's nuts. 
That's not, what a waste. New York State simply made too much and now has to figure out how to get rid of it. The former regional administrator of the Federal Environmental Protection Agency says it has to be done right. Absolutely. You um, Thankfully, it's not hazardous material, so you dispose of it and then you recycle the massive number of plastic bottles. It's a lot of recycling. Yeah, it's better than sending it to a landfill or incinerator. Assemblywoman Marianne Buttonshone has a unique perspective on all this. Is there a frustration on your part that so much is left over and that we face this problem now? Oh, absolutely. Not only does she represent a risk and she's also the former Dean of Public Service and Emergency Preparedness at Mohawk Valley Community College. I want to say it is very concerning, but it's a matter of, of how do we move forward and ensure that it's recycled as well as disposed of. Meanwhile, some lawmakers are calling for subpoenas and investigations. Anthony Palumbo is on the Senate Investigations Committee. I want to see taxpayer dollars spent wisely and re someone having an actual plan, that they're not just ordering thousands and thousands of gallons and millions of tax dollars spent on these items that we may or may not need because it looks as though we clearly don't need any more hand sanitizer. There are just over 700,000 gallons sitting out there. Cuomo told us it costs $6.10 a gallon to make the sanitizer. I'll do the math for you. That's about $4.3 million going to waste under those tarps. The state won't tell us anything about the method or cost of disposal. Here's part of what they did tell us. Homeland Security and Emergency Services says the sanitizer was made at a critical time when it was in short supply. As for the huge surplus, quote, due to the quantity of this flammable material, it must be stored outdoors to meet fire code, and the location offers the necessary space to do so at no additional cost to taxpayers. New York State is in the process of safely disposing of the material, end quote. It is all left people <laughs> shaking their heads. I don't know. I don't know, Greg. Now, it's been suggested to me that the hidden hoard be donated to schools or hospitals, but again, there are concerns over expiration dates. As of tonight, Homeland Security tells me there's just over 706,000 gallons of hand sanitizer sitting there on that runway. We were the first to tell you back in May about the state of New York overproducing its New York State clean hand sanitizer. Hundreds of thousands of gallons went to waste. Now, even though it's been two months since we first discovered it, the state still doesn't know what to do with it. And you paid for it. It's been two months since we revealed what's underneath all those blue tarps on an old airport runway at what is now the New York State Training Preparedness Center in central New York. 706,000 gallons of unused and expiring New York State clean hand sanitizer. It was made under orders from former Governor Andrew Cuomo at the start of the pandemic when hand sanitizer was in short supply. This is a superior product. But they apparently made too much, and there it sits, more than $4 million worth. Two months ago, the New York State Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services told us, quote, New York State is in the process of safely disposing of the material, end quote. But we checked with New York State this week and nothing has happened. The Office of General Services says the state is still discussing the best options for proper disposal. So the flammable material stays outside baking in 90 degree plus temperatures. It's a classic example, not just of uh, government, but really of governor malpractice and a lack of transparency. Senator Jim Tedesco is a Republican and frequent critic of the Democratic administration, but members of both parties are concerned. Democratic Assemblymember Marianne Buttonshone represents a riskany, which is where the no longer secret sanitizer stash is stored. It is concerning. It's very, uh, I want to say it is very concerning, but it's a matter of of how do we move forward and ensure that it's recycled as well as disposed of. But when that disposal will happen and how much it will cost is anyone's guess. Here's the full statement we just received from the Office of General Services. New York State will continue to store the material in the safest manner possible. We have inspected the inventory of the New York State clean hand sanitizer and we are currently discussing the best options to dispose of the product in the most efficient manner while considering both the environmental and fiscal efforts. The taxpayers have paid for that sanitizer, and there's going to be an environmental concern to rid ourselves of that sanitizer right now. So again, two months, no action. New York State did not answer our questions about the advisability of flammable liquid being stored outdoors in a heat wave. Fire officials have differing opinions on just how dangerous that can be.
Well, tonight we have what is the start of the last chapter in the saga of the very expensive New York State clean hand sanitizer that has been hidden away on the outskirts of a state facility in central New York for months. Ever since we revealed the state of New York had produced too much of its sanitizer, the state has been unable to say what it would do with all that excess alcohol-laden liquid. But just in the past week or so, we have learned that work has begun to get rid of it. And here's the uh, evidence of that. With permission from the FAA, we flew our Sky 6 drone above the sea of sanitizer. You can see a forklift right there being used to prepare it for departure off this abandoned airport runway. It cost millions to make all this and now millions more to dispose of it. And you better believe that you paid for it. Finally, some movement as we get our first up-close look at a secret stash of sanitizer hidden away under hundreds of blue tarps at the New York State Disaster Preparedness Training Center in Oriskany. The center touted in this video made by New York State. We strive for realistic, scenario-based training. No mention made in the video of the center being a dumping ground for 700,000 gallons of flammable, unused, and expired New York State clean hand sanitizer. We first showed it to you back in May. Thousands and thousands and thousands of gallons of New York State clean hand sanitizer. My reaction is pretty much like anybody else's. That's that's nuts. That's that. What a waste. That was then. And this is now. Looks pretty much the same. Just a much better view now. The hand sanitizer is sitting there baking away in the summer sun for months. Open the curtain, please. It was needed back at the start of the pandemic, but then Governor Andrew Cuomo had state inmates make too much of the stuff, way too much. So 700,000 gallons of it has been sitting here on this abandoned runway behind me for months. That's $4.3 million worth. All of it wasted taxpayer dollars. But now, months after we revealed its existence, the secret stash is slowly being moved a little bit at a time. And here's your exclusive look at that process. We've learned the state has entered into a contract with Eastman Kodak to haul the stuff away to the Eastman Business Park in Rochester and recycle it by extracting the isopropyl alcohol. It will take just about a year to get rid of all the plastic jugs and storage materials. We've learned this will involve 168 tractor trailer loads and will cost the state $2.32 million, all of it your tax money. State Senator Joe Griffo represents Oriskany. He wrote to the governor after our initial report, but... We haven't gotten any response yet. Griffo had brainstormed with area colleges and universities about low-cost and safe disposal methods. There are a couple of things that we had suggested that the state consider and examine as a potential way to uh, save money and get rid of this and do it safely. The state apparently wasn't moved by Griffo's suggestions because the pallets didn't move for months. And now questions remain about how we ever got to this point. We showed the super stash to a man who knows something about running state government, former Governor George Pataki. You know what's underneath those tarps? No. 700,000 gallons of New York State clean hand sanitizer made by Governor Cuomo and, and prison inmates. And he couldn't believe it when we told him about it. It's disappointing that, uh, that something got so out of control. On the one hand, you want to ha give him credit for proactively mm -hmm. trying to make sure that people had the ability to protect themselves. But you got to do it in an intelligent way. Pataki is still a New York taxpayer. And as the destruction production gets underway in Oriskany, he is still stunned how his tax dollars were and are being spent. Well, obviously, they have to get rid of it. Having it sitting there in Oriskany makes no sense. And, you know, it has to go. They have to figure out the right way to do it. And it's just another example of just the state not thinking things through reacting as opposed to thinking. So again, here's the math for you. 4.3 million to make the sanitizer that was never used. 2.32 million to dispose of it. Total cost to you, the taxpayer, $6.62 million. The state says this is the cheapest and safest way to wash its hands clean of the sanitizer.